Welcome everybody to Game Sushi. Tonight we're playing a demo, um, but it looks like an awesome demo. This game is called Road to Nowhere, and it's an FMV game, point and click type, and you know how much I like those, so stick around. You won't want to miss this. So, um, I did see that some of the people in this game are from the FMV game Contradiction. Um, I don't know if it's made by the same game company, but I saw, like, the detective guy from Contradiction, and I was like, I gotta try this out, so. Let's see, graphics, eh, let's just put on medium. Screw it. Let's, let's go high. I don't know anything about this demo, so I'm pretty much playing it for the first time. You reach Cole Bishop. Sorry, I'm not taking any calls for the foreseeable future. You may hate me right now, and I don't blame you. Just don't call me back. Cole, where are you? Running off with a head full of misguided thoughts isn't gonna solve anything. Call me back, damn it. Please. We love you. This is a beautiful game. I think it's best for everyone at this point if I abandon this whole misguided universe. Your choices will affect the overall story. Choose carefully. Uh, Doc, you don't know what I've been through. How do you think I feel? How do you think I feel? The woman I used to love just outed this hideous version of myself that I know is not true, yet I'm still dealing with it. Just like it was. Cole, I respect your anger in what must be an incredibly emotional time for you. But let's try to keep things in perspective. How is that fair? Fiona's used this. She's making goddamn revenue off it. Focus on yourself. I implore you. I know. Just hard. Fiona's actions are beyond your control. 
A common theme. Oh, I'm concerned. When are you coming in? Not any time soon. You off your medication? Sorry, no. Talk soon. <sighs> yeah, it's gotta be hard. Like, it's one thing... You know, if some random person is saying something, but... Apparently this is somebody that he was in a relationship with who happens to be a journalist and has a large following, I assume. Yeah, Rupert Booth, he was in Contradiction. I think so was she. Claire. But that was a really good game. I haven't played it on the channel, so I think I should probably do that. I think I played like before I started my YouTube channel, um, so I'll have to play Contradiction. But right off the bat, I love the music in this, the look of it, the atmosphere, so this is just a demo. Um, it's starting off pretty good. I wouldn't be surprised if this was made by the same people that After made Contradiction. After I first read the stories that bitch promised she'd post, watching as it blew up on socials and my perfectly adequate life became crumbling to dust, there was only one person in town I knew I could lean on. My sister, Katrina. I need somewhere to lay low, away from eyes I imagine glaring back at me, judging me for atrocities I did not commit. At least I hope I didn't. San Francisco. Was it worth it, Cat? What? Any of it, really. I feel responsible. For? Everything. Fiona, our relationship falling apart, her turning more and more to drugs, and I just ignored it. I never prioritized her mental health. I was always so caught up in my own bullshit. Would you call that abuse? No, Cole. Enabling men? You're not abusive. But I was self-centered. Had to be. Post development for after the fall was a fucking merry-go-round. Look, I've always got your back, no matter what that woman has told the media. Cole, you know what really happened. Yeah, what if I really don't? I was averaging three hours sleep a night for six months. Have you tried talking to her? Fiona's chaos. It's like she's going through some kind of psychosis or something. She sent this long-ass essay to Mom the other day telling her how terrible I am. What the hell? Yep, I'm trying to convince her I'm a drug addict and just an all-around shit person. Mom told her to go fuck herself. <laughs> go, Mom. Said she'd always stand by her son. Because she knows it's not true. Okay. 
can you be sure? I suppose you're right. Nobody does. Literally no one who's ever met me. It's just the world. It's out there. Always will be. But the internet isn't real. I mean, even the news downplayed the allegations. It was more about two sands. They acted so fast, the share price barely took a hit. All I know is, you've got a good heart, bro. I always have. You sure about that? 100%. Hasn't exactly done me any favors. Look, no one's perfect, but you're a good guy. Trust me. Okay. Seriously, just... Try not to think about it. Easier said than done. I know. Come on. It's Saturday night. There's a bottle of red on the counter. Let's, uh, get trashed and look to the future. Enjoy the night? Better late than never. <laughs> How are you a writer? Contact sensitive cursors when your mouse cursor appears over an object or person of interest, the cursor will change to either a look, use, talk, or move icon. Remember, you can click on objects and characters more than once. You never know what you will discover. Hey. What of you? Nature's really laying it on thick. Something like that. Pretty... It's pretty from above. San Francisco has the Golden Gate Bridge and sidewalks full of poop. That would be my sister, Kat. Who are you talking to? That's funny. That would be me, Cole Bishop. In the flesh. Best <laughs> stay on this side for now. Cool. Katrina Bishop, my only sibling and former childhood tormentor. Hell, <laughs> I can torment you now, if you like. What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> so mean. <laughs> that would be the door into Cat's kitchen, shockingly. Can the sky be pink? I should head back inside. And pick up some wine? Something about that radio is off. Well, something's buzzing. I can already see another nasty little text message clogging up the screen. Fiona sent that earlier on. I couldn't bring myself to open it, even delete the thread. I was paralyzed. Responding would only fuel the fire.
This is actually pretty cozy. It's far too late slash early for caffeine. It's better than wine. Yeah, I'm not about to bake any cookies or anything. I'm not really a fan of wine because whenever I drink it, I get like really bad sinus stuff. I don't know, I can't explain it. So like... I honestly have no idea what the fuck that is. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, I can't. I can't really drink wine. More of a, a beer guy. Very country kitchen. Pretty sure Cat left the stock photos in a couple of those frames. Now, a sort of more curiosities that would put your average magical practitioner to shame. Stay away from the knife. <laughs> Last time I stopped by, I found my beloved hardly working mug in pieces on the bench. I've been deeply cynical ever since. This music is very eerie. Those things look uncomfortable as all hell. What's this? Don't open it, just... Why? Save it for later. <laughs> All right, weirdo. I recognize Mom's handwriting anywhere. Got pretty good at forging notes in grade school. Hey, honey. You make sure he gets this, okay? It doesn't seem like much, but your brother needs all the support he can get. He's in so much pain, I can tell. Go easy on Cole. He carries everything around with him, no matter how trivial. And this is anything but. Love you, Mom. Okay, I think I've... Oh, no. Katrina's flatware game has always been on point. This object here is intriguing to me. I want to know what it is. Seriously, that looks like a nuclear reactor from a bad 90s movie. Shiraz. Looks like the last of that case cat picked up as we were swerving away from the Napa Valley. A much coveted bottle of Amon Vineyard's full bodied Shiraz. <laughs> I think it came to 378 a bottle. Where do you keep the glasses? Don't worry about it. Just bring the bottle. And this rain is something else. There's something dreamlike about all this. And he did say that like he's hasn't really gotten much sleep lately.
Right. My gosh. Just the latest in a long line of bullshit. What a bitch. <sighs> Tell me about it. Yeah, she said the C word. She's being a real Shayla. Okay, so that was the past. You reach Cole Bishop, and I'm still fending off a dozen calls a day despite insisting you all leave me alone. I am fine. And I'm sure my former colleague, Mike Perugia, can answer any and all of your questions. Leave me alone. Cole, just you're doing well, buddy. I know, um, not exactly the best of times, and I wanted to check in and see how you were doing. Full disclosure, I still have you on Find My Friends, and I've been following you for 60 miles. Please call me back. We can meet on neutral ground. Like a church or some shit. <laughs> okay. Um, talk soon. It's a pretty sweet ride. Weird-ass windows. I feel like I can't even see my reflection. Olympia. So grandiose. Mike Ferrugia, creative director of Two Sands, my former company. Cole Bishop, driving blindly through the desert to escape me. Don't flatter yourself, Mike. You're the least of my worries. Fair. This music is so ominous. You know that kind of neon that sort of feels like it's searing cancer into your retinas? You duplicitous plaid shirt wearing motherfucker. Wow, your eyes are like shiny. Rot in hell. Hey! Um, kid! I gotta, gotta hold! Okay, I was trying to see if you said anything else. Bastard accosted me, smiles and shallow fuckery. Tried to shake my hand, but he yanked it away. Next thing I know, this doe-eyed waitress is guiding us to a booth. This is Gina Winters, News Justin. The unstable biophage known as Carrot 17 has reached a new milestone this week, with the authorities pleading for victims to stay inside and board their windows. 
the WHO has confirmed the strain cannot fly and has minimal combat effectiveness within 30 feet. However, witnesses across the Pacific Northwest continue to claim otherwise. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. How are you doing, anyway? I'm fine. You gotta know what this looks like. You're not my brother, Mike. You're certainly not my friend. Hey, that's... Come on, man. We're not kids anymore. We had to think of the company and our shareholders. Yeah. Meanwhile, the whole world thinks I'm a monster. I don't feel rich. Money can't buy my reputation back. I'm being hounded by Fiona's supporters on social media day in and day out. Fucking strangers who don't have a goddamn clue what actually happened. They don't want to know you. You're a target right now. Yeah, and Toussaint's statement only made it worse. <laughs> it's a fucking press release, man. You, on the other hand, knew exactly what Fiona was like. All those phone calls and text messages, you saw how she affected me. Then you pulled the rug out from under me anyway. It's all about money with you, isn't it? I am sorry. Genuinely sorry. I didn't want it to turn out like this. It doesn't matter what you did or didn't do. Fiona is a master manipulator. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> Mike, I understand why you're here. Please don't bother. What do you mean? Make all the excuses you like. You can justify anything, but I'm not gonna forgive you. I honestly just wanted to make sure you were okay. I'm not. Now take your guilty fucking conscience and go. I've had more than enough of your bullshit for a lifetime. Buddy, that's not what it's... Seriously, just go. I don't know if I made the right choices there, but we'll see. Such a fun, family-friendly environment. Should just taste like sadness at this point. Mike's lucky I didn't stab him in the eye with a ketchup bottle. Huh. The booths, they were surprisingly comfortable. Though I'm of the opinion that anything can be art, it kind of looks like a toenail monster. <laughs> Is that a guitar on the fucking wall? And here, we have a rose made of ears. What? It looks like a 66? I feel too sober for this. In other news, citizens of Dartmouth, Indiana have reported cases of cluster headaches, strange itching, and moribund thought capacity as every man, woman, and child marches dutifully towards the colorful cave at the edge of town. The great old ones have advised there will be children's games, and terrifying cellular mutations. Bring them all. Bring everyone. What? Ah, oh, cute little kid living her best life. Uh, I don't want to be here. It's so boring. But I'm a grown up. Sorry, I'm 
I'm not that into happy people right now. Uh, I don't want to be here. It's so boring. But I'm a grown up. Okay, that television segment was nuts. Continue road to nowhere. A road trip to nowhere, rather. Mike thought he could debug our relationship. Only people don't work like that. In a way, it reminded me of who I was. Deep down. Just a big old nerd with more issues than the New York Times. by saying that terminating the call does nothing for anybody. I know. I'd ask that you please just hold the line. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not good. I can appreciate that, but I have standards. Medical standards. Just try to work with me here and I'll do what I can. Have you been doing your breathing exercises? Oh, I can't say I have. Okay, well, let's get to it. What's your major trigger right now? A major trigger? Yeah, a real pain point. Fiona. I know, Mike. I knew what to expect. I didn't mention it to him, but this two cent shit is nothing on what happened 18 months ago. Was that the, um, the other project? The Hollowing. Fiona's ode to MUDs and social anxiety. <sighs> I know my cope with crowdfunding. Even contributed a couple of grand. Did you ever find out what? Fiona, it's just the kind of thing she inspires in people. Mike's never even mentioned it. I kept waiting, but it never happened. You have to move on, Cole. I feel like my anger is poisoning me. I'm sorry, Cole. Your world has changed. Forget social anxiety and imposter syndrome. You're embroiled in events well beyond your control. <laughs> no shit. Quips aside, you pay me to help you. What do you need? How can I help? Maybe you can't. Uh, maybe you can't. No, Cole, don't. So it's jumping around. I really like this though, because it's so ominous feeling and I don't really have a full grasp of what really happened between Fiona and, and uh, it hadn't Cole. always been like this. Back in the day, Mike and I were two peas in a sweaty, unhygienic pod, living like frat boys while we each cut our teeth in our respective crafts. A few years later, after all the tantrum setbacks and collegial malnutrition, we were finally on the verge of something real. I miss those days.
that was awesome. Um, I really liked the 80s vibe everything had. The music was pretty unsettling. The new segments were nuts. Um, really interesting. I have no idea what the heck is going on. Um, there's definitely a, a mystery here and I can't wait till this comes out so that I can play this game on this channel um, and I'll do a full playthrough of it. I, I really had a great time with this game so stick around for that. Um, and I'll also have some more Sega Genesis stuff coming up. I'm gonna get back into Vampire the Masquerade and finish that one, finish playing through that one. Um, I think we're almost done with that. But yeah, if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.